Hello guys and welcome back to Tech It Creations, we're in Tech It again, second week in a row. It's brilliant isn't it guys? Now if any of you guys watch the Tech It Creations series, you should recognise this as my frame motor flying machine. If you want to learn how to build this, I'll stick right here a big like, link that you can click on that will put you on that video. It's basically a machine that uses red power frame motors and you can, with a click of a remote, move them forward. And I seem to be lagging, that's very weird. But yes, you can see with a click they move forward, just as easy as that. And I have added on a little section here that you can sit in, it's all nicely decorated. And the block behind you stops you from moving backwards so that you will move along with the ship. But that is not what the creation today is for. Oh dear, hmm. Ignore that. <laughs> Slight mishap with me and hitting the wrong buttons. Because I actually had a bit of a disaster, guys. I completely filmed this and it was brilliant, inspirational, <laughs> definitely, definitely was. And I had forgot to turn on my microphone. So that is my building it to show you guys that I did with no sound. So I am filming again. But yes, this is the section that we are looking at today. And it is the frame motor movable quarry. And it attaches onto the back of your flying machine so you can move it around with a click of a button. So what happens is there are two buttons. If I hit the left one... The deployer will place the quarry. It is next to an energy link, so it is immediately powered and begins mining. And it also has an ender chest on the top. I will just empty this out so we can see it start to fill up. As the quarry starts to dig, or dirt, or whatever it is that it's picking up, we'll go straight into this ender chest. And there'll be no spillage and mishaps because buildcraft pipes do not work with frame motors. They glitch out if you try and use them, so you cannot use transport or conductive pipes when getting this quarry to work. And also, the quarry will glitch out if you try and move it. So, to do this, we had the deployer place it. Now, let's say that this is finished and it's mined up everything. I hit the right button, a block breaker here destroys it and puts it back into the deployer. I can then carry on moving my ship. To the new area that I want to start my new quarry and then I can deploy it again it will run and continue to fill up the ender chest can be accessed from your base so you don't even need to be on the ship everything can be run via wireless and you could even program a computer to time how long it takes to dig to bedrock and after it's done that it will destroy the quarry and move along and set it up again so it can be a completely automated system which is very, very handy. So, because well, it's handy because if you do use quarries, it's a pain when they're finished to have to mine that and the pipes and the power supply all up, move it along, say, 20 blocks, and then put it down again. This is a real pain. And also, it is a pain to have to have it somewhere near you where you can get there to move it, whereas this can be done as wireless, it can be done miles away so you don't have to have massive ugly bedrock craters everywhere. So it is a very useful creation. So I'm gonna cut now to me trying to build it or showing you how to. See you in a minute guys. Right guys, so you saw or have seen in the past um, by clicking that link or by just being subscribed to me, which is the better option, then you now know how to build the flying sort of thrust part of this machine. So I'm going to show you how to build the quarry part. It is worth noting now that when you deploy a quarry from a deployer, it will always put the box to the north face of it so that needs to be the back of your machine if you don't know what way north is it is the way you walk to make your z coordinate to decrease in value so if you're walking in a way and your z value is decreasing that means you are facing north now this is going to be a little testing device but we don't need that for the moment so to start off you need to build a free by six um, little platform 
on either the back of your machine or just in midair if you're building this section first and you need to put down some cover panels in this pattern and this is going to be for the power supply so I'm gonna get that out now I probably should have planned this slightly better so that I didn't have to get all this stuff out while I was filming but oh well what are you gonna do so we're gonna get some solar panels I'm gonna use high voltage just because I'm in creative and I can you don't need high voltage but just like any quarry the more power you give it the faster it will run so it is better to use higher end equipment if you can I'm also going to get an MFSU to store it again doesn't need to be that high in equipment I'm just using the best option because I am in creative and we're going to get an energy link and I'm going to turn off rain because rain is horrible and miserable so I'm going to put down my free solar panels I'm going to link them up with glass fiber into an MFSU which I am going to link down oops into an energy link and that is going to be right next to because we can't have any conductor pipes the quarry so this is where the quarry is going to be placed and um, so we have the power supply now we need to work on deploying and breaking it and actually we're also going to get an ender chest out to go on top so we want an ender chest a deployer a block breaker which is somewhere there we go block breaker gonna need pneumatic tubes a couple of those oh there we go and of course quarry would come in handy for this whole thing so let's put down the quarry first no matter what orientation you put it when the deployer does it it will point in this direction I'm gonna quickly pop on the ender chest on the top so that when this dig stuff it isn't spraying everywhere now the deployer has to go on the bottom so that it is facing to the chest because it needs to right click against a block so it's going to right click against the chest to place the quarry underneath it and we can put the block breaker just around the back here so that we can then link with pneumatic tubes into this so that when the block breaker destroys it it will link straight into the deployer now it is worth noting that th this pipe here here and here are not connected to any frame motors so i'm going to put down some frames it is important to have this one because we're going to do something later that will cause this to disconnect but don't worry about that for now and also this chest is not connected so I'm going to run across the top like this. So now everything is touching. So we have our power supply, our storage, and we have our deploying mechanism. The last thing we need to do is a way of controlling this. So I'm now going to get rid of this block. That's why we need this one to stay attached to this. I'm going to put an extra block there and an extra block there. And I'm going to link these into two different wireless receivers. So let's get a couple of those wireless receivers there we go now if I put those down and toggle this one around and link them in with redstone you could now set these to two different remotes that would allow you to both break and deploy the quarry and everything should be nice and attached I'm going to get out a little remote I'm going to do a bit of a test here make sure I haven't missed anything so let's put this on frequency one and attach that to the breaker for now so let's say this is done actually it is done so that's good timing right click with this and it will destroy the quarry and feed it around into the deployer and now this is what this is this is a little test just to simulate checking if this will move and nothing is in the wrong place so let's see it does nothing was left behind that means all your frames are correct connected correctly if you've missed a panel that you needed to i should probably mention that these are panels which allow you to place things like wires on frames so i'm using lime green so you can see where they are if one of those is in the wrong place or something like this chest isn't connected up it might stop it moving and that would be your sign but if everything moves and stays together you know everything is working 
and now let's just put this on to two and finally check we can deploy it and again it places it to the north side it all works again and we'll start mining and there we have it it's really that simple to build but it is a brilliant feature that makes quarrying so so much easier i would strongly recommend that everyone uses this who's planning on doing a lot of quarrying for resources so thank you guys for watching if you've enjoyed me being back on tech it and actually if you've enjoyed me using adaptations to the flying machine let me know because i still have quite a few ideas of ways you could adapt this machine i would like to try out if you guys enjoy seeing it um thank you for watching hit subscribe if you want to see more regular content from me and hit like if you're enjoying it and want to see more of this series and that's about everything guys so i will see you next time bye bye